All right, guys, and this is Luke Owen. We're back with the third installment of Buemba's Spirit, this quest chain that uh, is eluding some people, um, unfortunately. Now, I've done this in parts again just because it's uh, easier on me um, because the video was so long, I was having trouble with audio syncing issues, uh, so I had to cut it into smaller sections in order to make it work and, uh, you know, just upload times and whatnot. Now, anyway... Okay, we've just completed, we have just completed Bury Me With My Boots, which was, uh, you have to bury, you know, Grant Dyer Hammer with his boots on. His boots are gone now, but his boots were here. And the Panther Cub is chilling here. Now, this this one's just a little something cool. You get a little Panther Cub pet. A little, little Panther pet. <laughs> Kill Nara, she'd be crazy about Panthers. Uh, oh, that's just Bomba talking. Okay, some guild will come of it. This is a quest here that you just... Got to click on the panther and complete. You get a free little panther cub. Uh, the panther cub looks at you with a look in the in its eyes that says, "Will you be my new mom?" <laughs> so we're gonna complete this quest, and we pick up the little panther cub. And where to go? And now we have a little pet. We'll bring out the little pet. Oh, how cute! This is cute. Yeah, I like this little panther cub. It's really cool. All right, so then you're in here. After you've done that, you'll talk to, you know, Boimba and uh, warn the rebel camp. Now, at this point, this is kind of where, you know, the Horde and the Alliance kind of split up a little bit. Um, warn the rebel camp is the Alliance side, and warn Grom Gol is the, uh, is the Horde side. And all you do, you know, these are kind of the first places you see when you first come into Stranglethorn Vale. And we're actually going to go up there and, and whatnot. Uh, and as I'm flying up there, we might show you, I might cut out and just jump to it for you guys, but I'm going to go straight up, straight up, straight up, straight up. And just to show you guys where we're at again, we're in this little section. There's a cave here. If you can see the cave on the map, I'm sorry, my character's kind of blocking, turn the arrow, see if it gives a better view. Yeah, a little better view. But anyway, that's where we're at. Grom goal, Grom goal if I could speak Sprecken. Sprecken. Uh, this is where the Horde would go, okay? And this is where the Alliance will go. The Rebel Camp is up here, the very north. The Horde will go here, and uh, we will see you at the Rebel Camp when we get there. And it's basically the same thing for both. It's just different locations, okay? We'll see you guys when I get up there. All right, so we've reached the Rebel Camp, and as everything loads, as you can see, it is under attack by the Gurubashi War Seekers, Okay. There's a bunch of these guys. This place is going nuts. Everybody's trying to defend. And that kind of leads me to believe that we're going to lead into something else, uh, as you guys can see. Uh, let's see. War in the Rebel Camp. All right, so we talked to Lieutenant Doran. I'm sure there's going to be some type of lieutenant at Grumgold Base for the Horde guys. Um, again, I'm sorry. I don't have a Horde character to exactly show you, but everything should be pretty much the same. Uh, you know, and, and if it's not, you can always ask me, so you leave a comment below, and, and I'll take a look at it if I can. I'll see if I can and hook up with a, a horde or something, and i uh, see if they can uh, shoot some video to show you guys. But for the most part, it's just going to be the Alliance side view of it, and I'll be talking to you about the horde stuff uh, along the way. So, anyway, we're here at the Rebel Camp. <clears throat> we're going to talk to Lieutenant Dorn, excuse me. Uh, we're going to warn the Rebel Camp, turn that into him. Uh, first we had snakes, then we had panthers, now we have trolls. It's good that you are here, we could use all the help we can get. Alright, that leads me to believe that we're going to be defending. Help defend the rebel camp for three minutes. <laughs> okay, so there is a time limit, that makes sense. Uh, I thought it was based on kills. Um, Alright, so then what happens is you get this lovely little bar, it's just a counter, you know, 180 seconds. Um, that's just three minutes, of course, <laughs> if you were unsure. Now this guy shows up. Bloodlord Mandokir. 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 Okay. And the handler. Oh, can I get one of those? I want... That looks like Dino. Uh, Dino, yeah. I think that's it. Yeah. Flintstones. Anyway, you don't really have to do anything, guys. Seriously. All these all these guys sitting here. I'm just chilling on my, on my mount right now. <laughs> <laughs> and this timer is just going. Um, you know, you could help attack. It's not going to get you there any sooner. Uh, but for the most part, these guys are all going to live just fine. This guy has 464,000 health. He's going to go up against a, a, a warrior that has, you know, 77 to 64 to 77,000 health. So it's a big difference. I'm being shot. Okay, it looks like I got targeted. I got to get off my mount and actually do something, or they're just going to eat me alive with arrows. Um, but. 
The nice thing about this is all these NPCs can hold their own. They don't have any issues. Come on. Just take them out. But it looks like as soon as I did get off my mount, uh, you know, they're eating me alive here. Let's get this back up. I'm just going to heal up a little bit. Waste all my mana healing, of course. <clears throat> but yeah, you defend for three minutes. Come on, quit targeting me. Go after the NPC. Thank you. Yay, free heal. Boom. That's what I was looking for. Alright, finishing move. Horrible finishing move. You don't get any loot off these guys up here, so don't, don't expect any loot uh, off anybody. Oh, I didn't want to do that. Where's my free heal? On my heal again. It's up. Good. Oh, that was weak. That was weak. And as you can see, the intensity kind of grows uh, as you progress through the timer. We are at 140 seconds out of 180. So we're almost there. Uh, we're, we're getting close. Come on, finishing move. Bam. All right, I'm totally out of mana, by the way. This is getting ridiculous. This is why I didn't want to do this on my pally. <laughs> I just don't. I don't play my pally enough to, to do all this excitingly lily. -ly. Alright, I just want to get out of combat. Finish him. I don't have enough mana to use my finishing move. Go figure. There, we'll drink a weak potion. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and come over here. I'm going to mount up if I can. Good. Get off the ground. The timer's done in three seconds. Ta-da! It's done. So you basically defended everything to the best of your ability, even though you really didn't have to do anything because the NPCs can handle everything by themselves, uh, as you saw. Now, defend the rebel camp. We go to the lieutenant who gave us the quest, and we turn it into him. Uh, good luck out there. Okay. Thanks for giving us a bit of a breather. Uh, like I said before, your troll friend was here for a small amount of time. He warned us and then left. James Stillair helped him get to his next destination. Maybe he can help you out. So he's saying, you know, uh, good luck out there. We're going to turn this quest into him, and we talk to James Stillair, uh, which is the Griffin Master. I'm assuming you're going to get a Griffin Master for the Horde side, uh, which seems self-explanatory because why are they going to make you fly, you know, because they're going to make you go, <clears throat> let's see, where were they going to make you guys go? Hard Wrench Hideaway, yeah, they're going to make you guys go there. That's where the Horde have to go. Head-to-head uh, -head Wrench Hideaway in the Cape of Stranglethorn. Uh, arrive at, yeah. So, anyway, we talked to this master here. Um, and he goes to the dig site for the alliance. To the dig site is the next quest, uh, or to Hard Wrench Hideaway for the horde uh, at your location in Grumgol. Grumgol, yeah, base camp. We're gonna talk to him. Dismount because he'll give you a free mount there. You'll want to talk to him. Accept the quest. Okay, ta-da! And then you talk to him again after you accept the quest. And you can can one of your griffins get me to the dig site? So I'm gonna accept that. Free ride. You can fly there if you want. <clears throat> you don't have to, you know, you can. It's just easier if you want to get up and take a breather for a minute because this takes a little bit of time. Like I said, it takes about 45 minutes from start to finish uh, to complete everything. Now, I am going a little bit slower than I might have gone on my Shaman or my Druid, mainly because they are casters, and I can hit and run, you know, hit enough, run enough. Especially on my Druid, I just basically dot them up and ta-da, they're done. Uh, and I can just run around and dot everything. But we're going to do this on my pally, which is giving me trouble because I'm not used to doing this on my pally. Now, um, we are getting close, but I'm going to go ahead and meet you guys there when I land, all right? Okay, guys, so as you can see, this is where the marker takes us. It's in the southern section of, uh, of the Stranglethorn, and a hard wrench hideaway is there as well for the horde. Okay, and I'm coming in, I'm landing, and the first thing I notice is there's a bunch of zombies. Dig site zombie, uh-oh. That doesn't look good. This doesn't look good, guys. Hey, who's this? He's the Griffin Master. Why is he... He's like in a poisonous daze. Alright, let me zoom in. <laughs> I like the glasses. I just... The glasses are cool. <laughs> anyway, uh, okay, we've landed. So, Buemba's spirit lights up. And to the dig site. Uh, this don't look very good, Kiraba. Complete quest. The breadwinner. What did I do? Ooh, I just made 10,000 gold from quest rewards. 
Hey. <laughs> Sweet. Uh, all right. So anyway, you turn the quest into her to go to the dig site, and then she gives you a new quest called Voodoo Zombies. Um, same for the horde. They get his voodoo zombies over at the hard wrench hideaway. Um, dealio. Rescue 10 dig site survivors. Okay. The people, they're all zombies, voodoo zombies. This isn't good. This isn't going to be pretty. you got to kill them. But once they are killed, uh, there is a moment where I can save them, change them back into the person they were before. we got to act fast. Uh, the zombies don't rest. Okay. These guys, these kind of hurt a lot. They have 116k health each. And I'm going to get my butt kicked. Watch. Oh, looks like my so-called seal I had on is not... What did I just do? Uh, run speed. It's not the one I wanted. We'll go seal the truth. How about that? I think that's what I had on before. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, yeah. They hurt quite a bit. Exorcism! Finishing move. That was a weak finishing move. Now, see, she turns everybody back into themselves, the dig site survivors. So, I'm going to go ahead and heal up since this is going to take a while. Um, I'm going to meet you. Well, what? Let me let me explain what's going to happen here. Um, you're going to kill ten of these zombies, and for each one you, you destroy, she's going to heal them. They're all over this area. As you can see, there's a big triangle. Okay. I'm pretty sure they're all over this area for, for the horde guys as well. Uh, for in the hard wrench, hard wrench hideaway in that area, um, but what we're gonna do is I'm actually going to skip ahead to the end of this one. Basically, you have to take out ten of these guys. Okay, voodoo zombies. You take out ten of them. She rescues ten of them, and we'll meet you right back here when I'm about to kill the last one. All right. All right. So it's taken me about eight or nine minutes to finish this, just because I'm slow on my on my uh, paladin. Uh, to do this, I've got 9 out of 10 zombies destroyed. Uh, you'll kind of see what goes on here, what happens. Uh, do, 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 do. Killing a zombie. Destroying a zombie. Exorcism. Cool extra abilities. Hammer of Wrath. All right, and what she does, she heals them. Right as you kill them, she heals them. Okay, so that's what we've done there. We're going to come back to the dig site, uh, or for the horde, you want to probably go back to the hard wrench hideaway location. I just kind of stand near the Griffin Master because, uh, you know, that's just kind of where I stand. Anyway, we're here. Uh, we're going to talk to Buemba about the voodoo zombies. We're going to turn it into her, complete the quest. Uh, well done enough. Are we done enough? Uh, we can't keep fighting the zombies. We need to figure out the source of the voodoo. And I think I know where to start. Okay, complete the quest with her. And she'll give you another one called Bad Supplies. The horde will get the same thing, Bad Supplies. Uh, check out the food preparation in preparation area in Hard Wrench Hideaway. Okay, for the horde. And for the Bad Supplies here, check out the food supplies at the Explorer's League dig site. Okay, we're going to accept the quest. And I, I can't be sure what's going to show up for the horde but it's going to be something that glows like this uh, this is the only thing i can see that's going to give me this it's a grain sack that's glowing so i'm going to go ahead and click on it all right this is in the dig site oh and we got a spirit that shows up the zenzil zenzil's here get him panther cup get him <laughs> he's muttering to himself a pinch of this a dash of that <laughs> uh zenzil zenzil i just love that voodoo that you do blah -de -de blah -de blah This guy just kind of talks. There's nothing that happens once you see this. It just sits here and it talks. And, and it goes from here. And hurry up. Come on. Come on. He's just sitting here. You know, everybody's going to be turned to zombies. It doesn't matter, Zanzil. They all serve Guru Bashi one way or the other. Uh, so he's, you know, slaves. Anyway, we're going to turn this in to Buemba. Bad supplies will turn into her, the spirit of Buemba. Uh, this is starting to come together now. If I can find my contact, then we can formulate a plan of attack, uh, a way to end this madness, okay? Complete the quest, and this is where I'm gonna, you know, this is where you'll actually talk to the Griffin Master and everything. We're just gonna continue here. I'm gonna talk to the Griffin Master, because he gives you the next quest. Uh, I, again, I'm assuming it's gonna be the same for, for the Horde at their location. Okay, I'm gonna talk to him. He's gonna say, making contact. This is gonna be the last and final quest uh, of this deal head to booty bay and find buemba's contact uh your troll friend headed to booty bay to warn them okay so we're gonna fly to booty bay and just kind of take the scenic route yay um you know 
there's been a lot of changes in in Stranglethorn, and I personally liked all the changes. I thought it was really cool. You know, they've got they've got goblin made stuff. It looks like out here, or just oil. Those are things are spewing oil, whatever else. You know, uh, the Cape of Stranglethorn. Ta-da! There's Booty Bay. Don't don't pass Booty Bay. Now I'm flying, of course. Huh? Crusader Aura. I'm flying out here. Now, there's one thing you can run into. There's some issues here. Sometimes this won't work. Um, and you, you just gotta mess around. Sometimes you may have to log out, log back in. But I'm here. Uh, Baron. Up by the Baron. You know, the, and uh, the Fleet Master. Up on this little boat section here. In, in uh, Strangle... Or, sorry. In Booty Bay. We talk to them. He's flagged. Anyway, we talk to them, and this Vol'jin, Vol'jin guy, this troll, which is Buemba's contact, is sitting up here with them, with them when you get here. If he's not here, try logging out, log back in. Um, sometimes the quest may not accept, so you may have to drop making contact and go back to where you picked it up, which is, uh, you know, at Hard Wrench Hideaway for the Horde, or at the Explorer Le Explorer's League dig site for the, for the Alliance. Okay, we're going to talk to him. Uh, I'd be telling Baron Rev Revelgaz about the Zandalar threat now. Okay, so he's been making his rounds warning people. We were trying to find this guy to, to fix everything up. Ah, there you are. We've been searching the entire jungle for you. Okay. What's the Baron got? What does the Baron have? Enjoyable current emphasis on the later. We've got plenty to drink. No... Humble servant of the Steam Weedle Cartel. Do you better still? What can I do for me? Okay. So he just got a quest for you. All right. I see you were able to get some help. Uh, that's what Vol'jin is saying. She says, The help's been good. Zanalar's plan is to set the Gurubashi in the warpath. Uh, Vol'jin, I, I know I've been... I, it's why I've been going around warning everyone. Uh, Buemba's not all the places held together so well. We try to help as much as we can. Vol'jin is saying... Uh, that we were here. Where are we going to go next? We're going to stop this uprising at the source. Baron Revilgaz. Okay, they're done talking. Revilgaz. I can't say his name right. Man, these names are all funky. Uh, if you can keep my town safe, I'll be definitely making it worth your while, is what is what the Baron's saying. Um, Vol'jin is. A, I got a few more things to discuss here, then I'll be heading to Zul'Grub. Okay, that's where it all leads up to. That's what this whole quest goes to. It just leads into Zul'Grub to get you guys in there and, and enjoying it. You can join in Zul'Grub before, but we're just here now. Um, let's see. Good work, Buemba. It'd be good to see you there. And the Alliance will to help. Be the be Alliance willing to help stop Zandalar? Basically, will the Alliance be willing to help stop Zandalar or attack Zulgrub? Of course we will. We're the, we're the Alliance. The Horde will do the same. <laughs> uh, but anyway, we're going to drop that. Now, after all this talking's done, Buemba lights up. You know, in some cases you may have to land. Buemba lights up. And Buemba's spirit, the one we picked up at the very beginning, is now complete. Is now done. Uh, and, okay. Here you have it, Kiraba. It looked like we are going to lead an assault on the Gurubashi in Zul'Grub. Uh, there... This would be the time for us Dark Spear, but... They'd be even more dire for the Zandalar. What? They go, they've, gone, they've gone too far. Man, I'm having a lot of trouble talking. What's the deal? What's the deal? <laughs> uh, you've been good to Buemba. Hopefully you're going to continue to help out all the Stranglethorn. Spirits be with you. Complete the quest. It's another 16 gold in my pocket. She disappears. And that is the completion of Buemba's Spirit Quest. That whole chain takes uh, approximately, you know, 45 minutes or so to, to complete from beginning to end. If you just want to go through it, it can probably do it a little faster, a little slower. It just depends on what you want to do. Just remember where you picked up uh, and left off and whatnot if you jump in and, and have to go kind of thing. So, uh, But, guys, that has been Buemba's Spirit. I hope you guys enjoyed this little how-to walkthrough of this whole quest. Hopefully I didn't bore you guys too much. But if you did like it, please please give me a like, uh, you know, a thumbs up. Just, to, just lets me know that you guys guys liked it and enjoyed it uh, i didn't see anything else really out there about this so i'm glad i could uh do this for you guys and and thank you for you guys requesting this uh mainly because there was some requests for this that was probably the biggest reason i did this um anyway guys thank you guys for watching and we will definitely see you guys next time this has been luco